Hello, my name is Sonnet and I love to talk about crochet and books and all things crafty and it is no surprise that I love yarn. And I especially love a good hand dyed yarn, but I'm gonna let you in on a bit of a secret and that is I am terrible at winding cakes of hand dyed yarn. I feel like I can never get the tension or the speed right. And I also live in a pretty dry climate and that causes a lot of static when it comes to my yarns. So there will be times where I'm winding yarn and it will fly off of my yarn winder by itself because of the static. It's pretty crazy. It's something you have to see to believe. <laughs> So I have been in the market for a new yarn winder for the past year or so. So imagine my excitement when I was contacted by Kato and asked to review their electric yarn winder. So Kato did send me this yarn winder to review and I can't wait to give you my thoughts on this electric yarn winder from a person who is really not good at winding yarn at all. I'm hoping that this will help the process. I'm hoping that it will help all of the issues that I come across when it comes to winding yarn. So let's go ahead and open up the Kato Electric Yarn Winder and see what I think. So first things first is you do get an instruction manual. Ooh, and it does have a QR code for installation. That's really handy. But here we have the instructions of how to install it. We have all of the components that you're going to need and then how to operate the winder. We have the cord so that it can actually be electric. Mine is this beautiful blue color. I think I think they do come in other colors, but I'm not too sure about that. But the color that I received is this lovely blue, which is wonderful. Blue is my favorite color, so that's great. Here we have another piece of the winder. You can see the on and off switch, as well as the clamp that will hold it to your surface. It does have the logo Kato on there. Then we have another piece here. And lastly, we have a bracket, some screws, and a small screwdriver. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all of these components, head over to my yarn shelf, and we will assemble this thing and begin testing it. Okay, so I have the yarn winder all set up and I found out that I was actually installing this arm piece wrong. So I do highly recommend that you do use the QR code when reading, when installing, assembling of this thing, because it was just nice to see it, have it explained a little bit more clearly than the instructions. And then I was able to solve the issue of the arm actually not fitting on there. So, but now that it is all assembled and attached to my shelf here, we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. So now it doesn't come with the actual plug part, just the, you know, the this part, <laughs> you know, that goes into the plug. So you do need to supply this yourself, but I'm sure you have a million of those lying around just like I do. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this thing into my wall and we are going to first test it with some yarn from Jolly Holiday Yarn. You just saw that yarn previously. That yarn was from the 2023 uh, book Advent Adventure. I also have a worsted weight here that I want to wind up. I have a couple more DK um, hanks that I want to wind up and then I'm going to try and find a bulky or a finer um, sock weight yarn but no promises <laughs> I have to go through my yarn stash but we have at least three different skeins we're going to try to see what I think of it so let's plug it in and we'll get going.
Okay, so I went ahead and I turned it on um, and it is now kind of slowly wrapping. Okay, <laughs> then we're gonna kind of go a little faster here. I do have my Swift kind of off to the side here. I'm gonna kind of keep an eye on my Swift and see kind of how, how that's doing. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and try going a little faster now. I wonder how fast we can get going here. Holy cow. I know it has like a built-in feature where it'll stop winding if there's tangles or things, but that's cool. And I don't know if you can see it, but all of the little springs are kind of moving in and out and things interesting. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and wind up this skein of yarn and just kind of see how it goes. Okay, so here we go. We did have to stop. So let me go ahead um, and see what's going on. Okay, we do have a bit of a knot here in my, oh, oh, oh gosh. Okay. Oh, and it just went, went ahead and went already. As far as winding the ball though, it's going great. And it's not flying off of the ball winder, which I'm excited about. So there it is. Ooh, it looks pretty good. Again, I'm not great at winding cakes. So this is really nice compared to how my cakes usually look. <laughs> so, so far, I'm really impressed and I'm really excited and I'm excited to wind some more yarn. So let's go ahead and wind another hank. This is from Muse 2320. This is from last year and this was a Hocus Pocus collection. This is the color Sarah and this is a worsted weight um, merino wool. Yeah, let's go ahead and wind this one. Now with this one, I did notice there was a bit of static with this one. I did shock myself when I did um, take this one off of the winder. I think that is just a, you know, that's where you live. This is just something you gotta live with type of thing though. I don't blame the yarn winder for the static, but that one did wind up pretty, pretty nicely as well. It's not the prettiest yarn cake I have ever seen, but it's not as bad as the ones that I do. So this hang here is gonna be the first one I wind up. This is from Hugh Loco. Hugh Loco is actually local to me and I love, love, love their yarns. They are some of my favorite. They just came out with this line which is called the Lore Witches line. And this is the color Book of Shadows. This is a DK weight. In addition to that one, we also have more Hue Loco that I'm going to wind up. This is their Coffee House collection that they came out with. I think it was earlier this year. This is the Phyllis Sock in the color Chai Latte. Now I did use this for my husband. I made him some socks. And as you can see, this cake is not good. So I'm curious to see if the yarn winder would actually re-cake this and if it will look much better than what it is doing now. So we're gonna go ahead and wind these two. So it is currently going as fast as it can. I do have it at its highest level and it makes some noise. Uh, it makes probably just as much noise as my uh, manual hand crank winder, but you can probably hear it how much noise it's making. It's not awful, uh, but it's not silent either. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> What I do kind of like right now is that I can focus on the Swift and all of my attention can be to the yarn on the Swift and helping that go, go smoothly. And I don't have to focus so much time on the actual manual winding of it. So that is one thing I am enjoying. I don't think I'm still, you know, 
great at winding yarn, but at least I have a little bit more support and I can focus more on the swift and making sure everything is good on that end while knowing that the yarn winder over here is doing everything it can on its end. So that is something that I am really enjoying right now about this yarn winder. Okay, so I do feel like this hank did the best job. You can see just how even it had been winding the yarn and that yarn is gorgeous wound up. Holy cow, I'm so excited to make a shawl out of this one. But yeah, I'm actually really impressed with how the yarn wound up uh, for this cake here. So at the end of the day, it did do exactly what it's supposed to and it did wind a nice cake of yarn. I wasn't pulling my hair out like I typically am while using my manual yarn winder. And it did save me time. A lot of times because I struggle so much with winding yarn, it would take me sometimes 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes to wind a simple hank of yarn because I struggled so much with it. Now I did time this last hank here and it took about five minutes to wind up this cake of yarn. I feel like it did a really nice job with the sock weight that I had. It was nice to get it into a more workable cake that I can use again in the future. For the most common weights that I do use, which is worsted weight, DK, and then of course the sock weight, I did find that it worked up great with all of these hanks. Now this yarn winder is available to purchase over on Amazon and you can purchase from the Kato website. The Kato website does have a total of 25 reviews and an average of 4.5 stars out of five. Now over on Amazon, I did notice as of recording this, which is October 16th of 2024, the prices are different on Amazon versus the website. So right now the blue electric ball winder is coming up at seven $71.99 with the purple one being $99.99. But I did notice there's a 50% off coupon over on the Amazon website. And when I went to check out, it did take off $36. So the total order price would have been $38.76. So yes, I do have an affiliate link that would save you 20% off of the $99. But in good conscience, I can't refer you to that one because you're going to save a bunch of money if you order off of Amazon. But check Amazon and see if they have some good coupons and see if you can get yourself an electric ball winder for $38.76. I think that is a no brainer. <laughs> And it was at that moment that my audio started going pretty crazy. It was kind of spooky, not gonna lie. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this video this way. <laughs> Now over on Amazon, the blue electric winder has a 3.6 rating out of five, and that is using 31 reviews. There's also a listing for the purple one, which has a four star rating out of 28 reviews. And from what I see, most of the negative reviews are about the sturdiness of this yarn winder. Also, people are struggling with the extra bulky yarns and the bulky yarns on the yarn winder. It does say you can do a bulky yarn, but does not recommend an extra bulky yarn. So just keep that in mind. If you are really into the heavier weight yarns, this might not be a good option for you. Let me go ahead and give you what I think are some of the pros of this yarn winder, some things I'm not the biggest fan of, and then my final overall rating of the Kato Electric Yarn Winder. For the pros, it did wind up beautiful cakes of yarn. They were much better than any cake that I could have wound up. And since I'm not a very fast cake winder, it was a more efficient and quicker process with each hank winding up within about five minutes or so. I also like all of the different tensioners. I think that is really helpful with keeping tension on the yarn winder. And I love that it is electric so that I can focus more on the swift and kind of making sure everything is going well on that part rather than focusing on the manual winding of the yarn. Now some downsides to this yarn winder, it is bigger than the current yarn winder I have. It's not as big as some of the ones that I have seen, but it is, you know, kind of takes up a bit of space. And it is also electric, so if you don't have the opportunity to plug it in in your crafting space, you're not gonna be able to use it. 
And lastly, what I think is probably the biggest selling or not selling point of this electric yarn winder is the price. At $99, that is a pretty hefty purchase. Now the yarn winder I was looking to purchase myself before I was sent this yarn winder was about $135. So it's not the most expensive yarn winder that I have seen, but you can get some other yarn winders on Amazon for $15. Personally, if you are going to be buying this yarn winder, be sure to use affiliate links. So my affiliate link, any other affiliate links that you have come across, or definitely check out for sales on Amazon, because I feel like if you were to get this at a discounted price, it would justify that price a little bit more. All in all, I would give the Kato Electric Yarn Winder four stars out of five. It did exactly what it told me it was going to do. It wound up a nice, cake of yarn and it did it electrically. <laughs> it was easy to assemble and the instruction video was very helpful and it really did help out this not so great yarn winder make up some really nice cakes. If you have it in your budget for this yarn winder, you're looking for an electric yarn winder and you're like me and this is going to make better cakes than you could by yourself, I would recommend it if you can find it at a good price. So whether that is using affiliate codes or finding it on sale. I will be continuing to use mine to wind up cakes of yarn, but there's lots of yarn winders out there, so it's best to do your research and find the one that is best for you. If you have any other questions about my experience, feel free to reach out, leave a comment. If you already have this yarn winder, let us know your experience down in the comments as well. Maybe that would help others that are looking to purchase this one as well. And if you are interested in ordering one and you do wanna help out the channel, there is that affiliate link down below, or you can use my code TSS20 to save your 20% off. But again, do what's best for you and your budget. But that's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you so much. You are so wonderful. And I will see you all a little later. Bye, everybody.